Today, I'm gonna show you a powerful and repeatable system that you can use to send a thousand cold emails to businesses on autopilot. This is the same exact system and number of emails that I use to scale my agency from doing around $10,000 a month to over $200,000 a month while being able to book 10 to 15 calls per week using this exact process. So by the end of this video, if you just follow along and copy what I'm doing, you can have the same system set up in your business, send the same amount of emails and get your offer in front of thousands of decision makers each week to ultimately grow your business using using cold email. So what's the point of even sending a thousand emails a day? Well, the point is, is you're getting in front of a thousand decision makers in their inbox where their attention is. I mean, I don't know many decision makers who don't consistently check their emails and the ability to use something like cold email allows us to get in front of the decision makers at scale. You see email providers, especially in today's day and age, are getting more strict when it comes to spam. And what this means if we want to reach business owners is we need to make sure that we have the proper systems in place so that we we actually get in the inbox because if we don't land in the inbox when we're sending cold emails, it's going to be all irrelevant and it's just going to be a complete waste of time for you. So using a tool like instantly allows me to safely send emails at scale and allows me to actually land in the inbox of the consumers when I do in fact send a thousand emails. So what do we need before we can actually send a thousand cold emails a day? When it comes to sending cold emails, we're not sending from our personal email. We're not sending from our work email. What we want to do is we want to create multiple emails from multiple domains and send from those emails that we created that are associated with that specific domain. And what we want to do is we need to also warm them up. So the rule of thumb for us is for every domain that we purchase, we like to set up three to five different emails. And from each email, we're sending anywhere from 30 to 50 emails every single day from each email that we're setting up that's associated with that specific domain. And when it comes to warming up, if you do some research on warming up your domains, what you might find is a lot of people suggest things like sign up for a bunch of newsletters, start sending emails back and forth. But the problem with this is, is it's a complete waste of time and it is completely unscalable because who wants to subscribe to a bunch of newsletters, wait two weeks, send emails back and forth, who has time to do that? What I like to do is I simply like to use Instantly to basically automate this whole thing. So if I go to Instantly, if I go to my email account, what I'll be able to see is a list of email accounts. And in a couple of clicks, I can basically set up the whole cold email infrastructure using their done for you email setup. What I'm able to do is I can simply purchase domains directly inside of here and it'll automatically create the emails associated with those specific domains. Let's just say my name is Agency Accelerator. What will happen is it'll populate some similar names that are associated with your agency that you can then choose from. So what I can do is I can select one, two, three, four, five. And then what I can do is I can click on next and what will automatically populate is my forwarding domain. So I could put my real domain. I could put the name that it's going to be sending from. And then what's going to populate is all of the emails that I need to send from. So in this case, it'll be 35. So I'll be able to send a little over a thousand emails per day. It's always nice to have a few more just to be safe. And then once I place the order, what will happen is the domains will automatically start warming up. Once I click into my email that's already been set up, I'll be able to see the warm up settings and I can see how many warm up emails have been received, how many warm up emails have been sent, how many were saved from spam. This gives me the confidence knowing that this is automatically happening behind the scenes. I don't need to send emails back and forth. I need to subscribe to a bunch of newsletters and instantly just takes care of this completely for me, which speeds up my ability to start sending emails. And what it will also do is it'll also give me a health score so I can see if there's any domains, any emails that are unhealthy and I can just not use those. This is huge because it's going to track your domain reputation. It's going to make sure that the emails look natural. It's going to adjust sending volume as needed and so much more without you having to guess and hope that you land in the inbox. So how do we actually send a thousand emails a day? Well, there's really two things that are going to be extremely, extremely important when we're going to start to send this amount of emails. It's going to be the who and it's going to be the what. How do we make sure that when we send cold emails, we're going to land in the inbox? And how do we make sure that we get responses when we are actually sending emails inside of instantly? And I do this inside of instantly. What we can simply do is we can create a campaign. So let's just say I'm going to do a new campaign. Let's just call this. Uh, sending a thousand emails campaign. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. Now, after my campaign is created, what I'm able to do is I'm able to add leads. For efficiency, for speed, what I like to do is I just like to use the lead finder, but you can build the list yourself. You can buy a list from a list broker. You can use other software if you needed to. Let's just say I'm going for people in construction who are CEOs. So I can filter by the job 
job titles. I can filter by the location, the industry, how many employees they have, and so much more. So in this case, I can see all the CEOs of construction companies. So let's just say I want to select the first 25. You can select all the results if you wanted to. And I can go ahead and click add to campaign and I can click add them to the sending 1000 emails campaign. And once I add them, what we'll be able to start seeing is we'll be able to start seeing our loads populate. But what's important here from the who perspective is we'll be able to see the status, which is in verification queue. So the cool thing with instantly is that they go through a three-step verification process. Meaning if this email is in fact not valid anymore, maybe the person doesn't work there, or maybe the email changed or whatever it could be, this will be picked up by instantly's verification process and make sure that I don't send emails to people that are not actually verified. So as this is going through the process of verification, what we can then focus on and transition to is the what. What is it that we're selling? What is it that we're talking about in the email to actually provoke responses? What's also cool with Instantly is that we can actually use AI. So we can incorporate our open API key, which is ChatGPT essentially, and we can use pre-made templates. We can create our own from like a personalized line perspective. So if you have a really solid list, if it's easy to personalize, you have good data, whether it's the website, whether it's the title, whether it's the location, whatever it could be, and you want to use the personalization, it's super easy to do in just a couple of clicks. What you can do is you can basically choose your template. Let's just do a personalized line based off of the website. I can click on generate for all leads and what will populate is the personalized first line. In addition on the what, what's really easy to do is we can create sequences and really just write our copy inside of here. So a few different ways that we like to write copy is one, we can write it ourselves or two, we can use Instantly's AI tools to basically create a full sequence for us. In this case, just for this video, I wanna show you some principles that are gonna be super important. How we typically like to start is high first name. This is where you can add in also the variable of the personalized line, which is currently populated and which I'll add in a little bit later. Then what I like to do is I like to basically add in my offer because we only have a few seconds to catch the attention of who we're actually emailing and it's important to catch their attention really, really quickly. Otherwise it's going to go into spam. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm basically just sharing exactly what we do, hitting on some pain points that this industry might be dealing with, like the high cost of paying recruiters and then kind of digging in a little bit because I know that they charge a lot to recruit new employees. And then a case study, which is paramount to include because we want have proof because again, these guys don't trust you. They have no idea who you are because you're sending them an email. So case studies add a lot of proof to what it is that you're doing to amplify your message and just increase that trust a few notches. When we do a call to action, we're not saying let's book a call and talk tomorrow. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the prospect to raise their hand and show interest. Instead of saying, let's book a call. I literally just asked them if I could send them a video on how our process works for their next candidate. This means that they're exploring new opportunities for recruits. Maybe they have a recruiting need, whatever it could be. And I'm trying to add value to them. And by adding value to them, it really just plays into the rule of reciprocity, which allows them to then receive something in value, trust me more, which allows me to go to the next step with them, which would be to then book a call. Super simple framework that you guys can follow. You guys can make your own. You guys can test. And the good thing about this is like, once you understand this framework, you can test different angles for different types of pain points, desired outcomes, different offers, different case studies, different call to actions to see what is actually hitting. And not only can I send this email, what I'm able to do is I'm able to add in follow-up emails as well and spread them out across however many days that I would like to spend them out. So if we just say, I'm going to do subject line, first name thoughts, what I can do is I can basically just say following up on sending over a quick video worth taking a look at. So you can send two to four is typically what I recommend. What I used to do before is I would have to basically look at my spreadsheet, uh, go to the next day, essentially, or two days later, see if people responded. And for the people who didn't respond, I would send a manual follow-up email. With this, if they respond, then it will stop sending. And this allows me to to basically automate my follow-ups, which are extremely crucial. Most of the leads and most of the clients that I've gotten have come from the follow-up email. So once I write my campaigns, have my follow-ups dialed, and I feel really confident in this, what we can then do, we can go to schedule. We're able to choose exactly when we want to send emails. If we want to send them Monday through Monday, if we want to send them between specific times and specific time zone, we can select that. Then under options, if we're sending thousand emails a day, that means that we have to choose 33 accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select 33 accounts here. 
here, which you can then choose. And then we can decide if we want to stop emails on reply, which I have enabled. I disable open tracking just because it increases the likelihood of them landing in the box if this is in fact disabled. And I can see my daily limits down here based off of the number of emails that I've added is a thousand. And all I have to do is go ahead and click launch. Then this campaign is now going to start sending to the leads that I've gotten to the sequences and follow that I've basically created. And it will all be happening behind the scenes automatically. So what happens when we send these emails? Are they going to all go to all these different inboxes and you have no idea where they're going? Are you going to have to manage all these different inboxes, log into all these different emails and have to manage all these different replies? The answer is no. What instantly has is they have what's called a unibox where basically all the emails that we just purchased and warmed up all get filtered into one central inbox that we can easily manage. So if I go to my unibox, what I'm able to see is I'm able to see all of my positive replies, all my negative replies perhaps, and I can easily respond directly in instantly. If we're getting a positive reply, Instantly's AI will automatically mark this as interested and I can go ahead and reply directly inside of here. In addition, what I'm able to do is I'm able to look at the person that I sent the email to. I can make notes on the prospect or add anything relevant that they said. And in addition, what's going to happen is it's automatically going to get filtered into our opportunities where we can see all of our positive replies in one, all the people that request some more information so that these are the people that we in fact follow up with. What we're able to also see is data. We're able to make informed decisions based off of data. So this campaign, for example, we sent 1,265 emails, got five opportunities from it. And I just heard that we booked two calls from the five opportunities that came up from it. What we're shooting for is anywhere from that two to 3% reply rate, which allows us to optimize for replies, optimize for a lot of responses, making sure our messaging is actually hitting with the list that we've built. And from there, we're trying to book around 10% of the positive replies. Doing this without automation would be completely unrealistic. I mean, you should have seen the Google Sheets that I was working on before I found the the tool like instantly, it was a complete nightmare. With this, we're able to see which campaign step is getting the most responses. We can see all of our follow-up emails and so much more. A thousand emails a day is a great thing to strive for and that should be your normal when you're automating your outreach. Even if you do have a list of, let's call it 10,000 and you went through the list of 10,000, what I like to do is I like to test a different angle, test a different campaign to the people that didn't respond. And with instantly, we can basically see our campaign and see all of our leads. We can filter by who opened it and didn't respond. We can filter by all these different insightful filters that allow us to be more innovative with what it is that we do. Because once you get that thousand emails a day, you get your KPIs, you're starting to book calls, all scaling becomes is just a ratio, right? If I send a thousand emails a day and I'm booking 20 calls a month, what happens if you send 10,000 emails a day? What's the ratio there? So then you're able to really scale based off of leads, based off of the amount of emails that you have, and you just make this part of your process and your lead gen finally becomes predictable. Now, in this video, I showed you exactly how to set up the system for yourself so that you can go ahead and just copy this for your business. But what would be even better is if I showed you how to do this in a real life scenario and that I did. A couple months ago, I challenged my friend Jake to see if I could start a service-based business and get my first client within 10 hours using cold email. So click here to watch that video and I'll show you exactly how I did it from business infrastructure, choosing a company name, a website, writing emails, and so much more. And in that, I show you quite literally how to start a business from scratch. Be sure to check that out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.